guys today I'm riding the S1000 XR another present from Motorport Salem they're kind enough to uh, to lend me this bike again a few weeks ago I was riding the MT10 and today this beast awesome you really need to get used to the size of this thing it's a pretty big bike uh, especially compared to the MTU7 I normally ride it is big but let's see how it feels while riding the sound is uh, not too bad there's a full acropuffic system mounted uh, to this uh, to this one and with the MT10 I had some uh, issues getting used to the quick shifter but I'm determined to use this today so it's quick shifting only and I want to try not to use the, uh, the, the clutch at all oh I did <laughs> you're just so much used to it that it's hard not to use it Not too bad. Wow. There is so much in front of me here. With the MT-07, uh, it's almost as if uh, I'm falling uh, forwards because there's nothing there basically. Oh, I must say the steering is so it's so easy. It goes so gently. Actually, I can't believe that I'm riding this BMW S1000 XR. Oh. <laughs> That's too easy. It's too easy. When I first hopped on this bike, it felt pretty big. But once you get on it and you gain some speed, it's not big at all. It doesn't feel big at all. Brakes are different though. Brakes and throttle response are <laughs> not comparable in any way to what I'm riding. Ooh, that's so sexy. I think I know what it is. The clutch response is um, all the way at the last few feels like millimeters but uh, last few centimeters there's not much happening in the beginning but at the end it's uh, it needs a delicate touch uh, to be honest I'm a, f a little bit afraid to really pull the throttle because I know this is a very powerful bike I don't intend on wrecking it it's the owner's bike of Motorport Salem. So that's... I'm not sure if it's even worse if I crash this one. <laughs> but it would be bad. So let's take it easy, but have some fun. By the way, it's uh, currently in dynamic mode. to use the quick shifter but I do miss uh, playing around with the throttle in between shifting something that I like With every new bike you hop on, 
you need to get used to it uh, a few minutes before you really uh, settle in and start feeling a little confident so that's pretty much what I'm doing right now the thing that I notice with this bike is that it's just so smooth incredible smooth <laughs> And I must say that for a motorcycle this powerful, it feels pretty forgiving. No, don't know if that's the right word, but... I know that it isn't, but it feels forgiving. And this windscreen... Oh, it's heaven! Normally I'm riding uh, with my uh, with my uh, MT-07, no windscreen, taking full wind, so it's nice to have cover. And I notice that this uh, front screen can slide up a little, so it could be a little higher even. Oh, it is a little high, as my legs are a little bit short. downshifting is <laughs> ah, that sound is just great that was a front wheel oh nice That's a little shaky. I should shift down. Oh. <laughs> that plop 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 is great. So the thing um, is that the riding position at this moment is a bit high to my opinion and to my body length. Sure, this can be adjusted a little, but it feels high. And it's something that you need to get used to. It's a bigger bike, it's not the biggest. But then again, the M207 I normally ride is just small, very light. So of course, that's a big difference. <coughs> so this is just the tips of my toe touching the ground right now. Let's look at this thing. Oh yeah, check this. This is pretty great. <laughs> it's so sporty. And how about this exhaust though? It's a full acropophic system. Nice carbon pieces. your legs fit in between this tank uh, it makes it that it's very very comfortable the seat is very comfortable but it's a four cylinder of course and personally I just love the two cylinders myself absolutely love them so I can't wait to ride the Africa twin really dying to know how this thing rides thousand cc two cylinder bike it's me dreaming what I love is that there is a lot of torque in the low rev area and of course this pulls pretty good but I don't need to tell you guys but this four cylinder it's really starting to pull above the six uh, seven uh, thousand but <laughs> there is no issue with uh, with torque and I can, I can imagine that this bike is also perfect for longer trips. I'm planning to go to, uh, to Germany or maybe uh, Austria with friends. We plan to go in September. 
and this is the type of bike that you would definitely have a lot of fun with uh, do the corners be comfortable at uh, at straight with higher higher speeds also pull up this windscreen and I think you're very comfortable for longer rides as well but for the looks to me are less awesome than the S than the S1000 but what am I complaining <laughs> this is just fun this engine is just smooth as it's as smooth as it can be and I've never ridden a BMW motorcycle before and I guess that's one of the reasons that um, why people love them technically it's just perfect I didn't even start trying all the options I have here um, but the engine it runs like like crazy and this clutchless shifting it's working better than the M210 though I don't want to but let's return this beast to where it came from motorport thank you again so to wrap this up this thing is so comfortable I'm really in this bike first uh, 10 minutes it felt a bit high to my uh, to my body length but after riding this for nearly I think 30 40 minutes I'm starting to feel one and then you can have fun with this thing fun with the shifting and the sound it's just I wish I could take that home with me that was fun motorboard Yo guys, uh, now I'm on my MT-07 again. This feels so different. Um, it's just now that I realize how comfortable this uh, BMW S1000XR was until I got on my bike. There is a huge difference. It's huge. I can't explain, you must experience it yourself. But in this XR, it really feels like you're within the motorcycle and i need to get used to sitting on it now so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it see you later ciao